this is why I do landscape photography. morning. Uh, a new day, new adventure. Um, new location, snow down here. Um, I'll, I'll put where we are up here. We come last night in the dark so we don't know the area at all. We don't really know what to expect. The only thing we did do is we had a look on, um, on the internet for any images that were here just so we've got something in our mind about what we can see when the sun comes up so the chances are of being there at the right time are pretty slim because we, we don't 100% know where we're going to walk to so uh, but it is a recce for a, definitely another day be good for um, a dark skies the skies last night were absolutely stunning but what I'm shattered I couldn't I'm not even attempting to take a photo or anything like that Martin's in his camp, car camping, um, so hopefully he's warm enough. <laughs> so I've, I've got my brew ready. So I'm going to have my brew, we'll get out there and see what we find. Looking forward to this one, this could be a, an absolute beauty. <laughs> Bit muddy, a bit muddy. Oh, good morning, good morning. We're on site and we managed to get a comp before the sun comes up, uh, which is the thing I was sort of anxious about, really. Um, that would We'd, we'd get here, we won't be able to set up and get a composition before hopefully we get a nice sunrise. Um, as uh, an optimist, I'm hoping that we've got a break in the cloud where the sun is actually gonna rise, but the rest of it's all clagged in. So touch wood, we could be in for a good one. Right, composition. Okay, let's just go over the scene. So I've put myself in it. Um, which obviously improves the scene no end <laughs> or absolutely destroys it one of the two so yeah we've got this lovely style that walks over the, the wall there we've got the wall leading across the image um, heading down towards the the lake we've got a, an abandoned building on the left hand side of the image um, so we've got the the steps on the right hand side we've got the abandoned building on the Left hand side. Can you see me, Martin? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so, got the abandoned building on the left hand side of the image um, with this nice scree area and then the lake down the bottom there. Absolutely perfect. I'm just hoping now, fingers crossed, we get that nice bit of light. At some point, we've got to because there is a, a letterbox of 
clear sky out there. Yeah, just be patient. That's the key, I think, today, be patient. We're starting to get a bit of a bit of light on this, this scree mountainside here. Um, I don't know whether you can actually see it slightly. Just so it's just it's disappeared now, typical. But we were just going to strip a light across there. Um, hopefully it will come again. And that the cloud, the good thing is the cloud where the, the sun's rising is disappearing. Um, obviously, I assume it's whether the sun's burning it off a little bit. But it's definitely disappearing. I just hope it happens quick enough where we can still get that nice orange glow. Um, getting excited now. Should have caught them birds flying through there. That'd have been nice. Um, yes, I think people are starting to wake up. The birds are starting to wake up. And it's, we're the only ones here. It's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this type of photography in these locations. We missed the Aurora last night. I couldn't get a signal on my phone. Martin could get one on his. Um, and I've walked over here, got a signal, and at 20 past nine or half past nine last night, we got a, an aurora alert. Now, we're facing towards, on one side we've got the Great Orm in the distance, on the, the other side we've got the tip of Anglesey, Penmon Lighthouse, and we're looking north. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Beyond you is north, and I'm sure we'd have seen the northern lights last night. Never mind. Another day. I know I should have gone to EE. <laughs> I'd have got the alert then. <laughs> they even get some blue sky above as well. Come on. We've walked 20 yards the other side of the fence and we've come across. The wall ends up there, then it starts again. Um, and it's got a lovely little S shape to it. But Martin's standing on the rock here and I've, I've managed to get the rock in the foreground. Um, and then the leading line of the, the, uh, the wall here. And I think I prefer it in a portrait and held. Just quick shot, leading you directly into the, the lake there with the light catching the wall the one side and nice shadow the other side. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. That is one hell of an image. Um, I think it works really well. I'm tempted just to get my tripod up and just, just um, make sure so I can drop that F-stop down a bit more, F-16, so I was on F-8. Um, I think I'm gonna do it because I think the scene's worth it. So it's hard, quite hard to see on the back of the camera, but if I, oh, if I underexpose it, you should be able to, uh, overexpose it, I should say, you should be able to see it a little bit better. So 
we've got, I've got this foreground rock. Just set that level. Got this foreground rock. We've got another couple of little rocks about a meter or so in front of that. We've got the leading line of the the uh, the wall that just it's got a lovely bend in it, and then it leads you straight into the the valley below and the lovely lake and the the light that's sitting round the lake and the the mood that's hanging onto the top of the mountains there and then we have got blue skies coming over what an absolutely superb scene and while you're on videoing i'm going to get another image so we'll just expose it correctly and we'll get that and while i'm thinking about it i've focused on this rock but i'm going to focus on the wall it's a sort of more of a, a third of the way in but look at that scene look at that light hitting this this ridge here <laughs> and then above that you can't see it but we've 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 starting to get a little bit of blue sky on that top left hand third what an absolutely beautiful scene yes i am well happy <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Look at that. That is just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Well, there are only ones here. The only thing we can hear is the water running. It's beautiful. The sun's come up. It's warming us up. Yeah, I feel quite emotional actually, because it's absolutely stunning. This is why I do landscape photography. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. It's going to be very hard to pull myself away from this location. It is that good. Um, just doing some long exposures, 10 stop with the polarizer on, give me a 30 second exposure. Um, and we're just getting a nice bit of drag in the cloud. The lake's almost flat anyway, but it just gives you that extra glass like effect. Um, Martin's just getting one now. I've already got it trying to get some foreground and I'll probably get probably we're gonna walk around the shoreline and probably get a few more long exposures the only problem I suppose we've got is as we get deeper into the lake there itself we start to lose this lovely side light here it's not actually catching there at the moment but hopefully at some point it will do I'm sure it will as the, as the sun rises um, but at the moment that's working because we've got that nice shadow area then this nice light that's behind me um, so it's really nice 
but this is just it's just a phenomenal place um, settings i can't remember what my settings were i think it was f14 to get me a 30 second exposure um pretty simple really I've come a walk across the shoreline here. One thing I would recommend, a good pair of wellies, walking wellies, be worth it. Um, so you can get a little bit deeper into the water there, the water's edge. But a little tip for next time, and a little reminder for me. So I've come here and I really like this, this um, composition that I've set up. I've got the leading line of the water's edge right in the middle of the frame coming up to the middle of the shot we've got some some lovely light on this mountain that comes from right to left and then we've got the other part of the valley that runs through from left to right um, with some lovely claggy clouds in the distance and how the lights catching it the different layers it's a phenomenal shot and what makes it better is we've got beautiful bluish skies above us which are reflecting on the lake so the lake's quite a, a dark bluey colour um, absolutely love it I have got the polarizer on um, but I don't really think it might work it, it might improve the image slightly I'm not 100% sure we'll just wait for that light to come out again and we'll get another image that is a so we've got it's a stunning image of that, absolutely stunning. So this, we've got this, this mountain range coming down here, um, just behind me, coming down. I've got the leading line of the, the edge of the lake there, and then we've got this, this other mountain range coming, meeting it from the other side with that cloud formation there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna wait, for, like I say, for that little bit better light, um, which hopefully should come in a minute, and I'm gonna grab another shot what a belter but I've, I've captured some more shots i'm not going to go through every shot the video will be about three hours long um i'm just just stunned by the place and it's we've we've picked a, a real nice day because it's not too claggy we've got got the clouds uggins parts of the mountain at different times with the light fleeting through um, so it's really nice, really, really nice. I mean, I don't know what that mountain is there, but it could potentially be sort of the Penny Oldwin area. Um, we are we are the backside of um, the Ogwin Valley. The Ogwin Valley is the other side of that that ridge there. Um, that'd be chaos this morning. This is peaceful and quiet and absolutely beautiful. Oh, what a morning, guys. What an absolutely stunning location this is. We've got a big dam wall here that apparently was breached and it flooded the valley below. Um, so, uh, obviously it weren't constructed correctly, but 
Um, it, amazing to imagine the water up to that level, to be honest, because the actual lake that we've been taking the images of, uh, oh, could be 150 yards away. Uh, but what an amazing location. Absolutely stunning. But I've done, we're beat. The light's gone a little bit as well, so um, we're going to try and add, walk his way round and then up the footpath and head back home. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Fantastic location. Um, come and visit it and see how you get on. But for me and Martin, we're done, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.